you saw a lot of McCain on TV getting some mild questions. But I reviewed a bunch of videos this weekend shot by uh, independent groups like AMTV and Phoenix and others that do a great job. And they sent us this clip we're about to play. Thank, thank God they did because I hadn't seen this. Of the whole crowd angry at McCain. Not from, the, not from the crowd, but from behind McCain. You get to see everybody angry at him and agreeing when the guy says, you're a traitor, you, you're involved with Al-Qaeda, you need to be arrested. And McCain is scared. And he should be, folks, because when everybody figures out how this really works, you guys are all going to be held accountable through a court of law, not an NDAA, but through constitutional court. Because it's all going to come out. McCain met with the leaders of Al-Qaeda in Syria on record earlier this year. Let's go to this bombshell audio clip. If you're a TV viewer, you can see it. But for radio listeners, you can go to Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. It's in the top tiles. You can see the video. It's even more powerful, but here's the audio. Hi, Mr. McCain. I mean this with all due respect, sir, as uh, an elected official for our country. This guy looks like he's we in the army. We elected you to be representative of the people and against this great or, and for this great nation. But for far too long now, and the rest of Congress, including the executive branch of government, along with the judicial and legislative, have turned your back on the American people and their core values and principles. I can say with great confidence and speak on behalf of all Americans that your actions against this country are treasonous. All of you, against the will of the American people, have aided and embedded the enemy. You and the rest of Congress, including the President of the United States, have went against the will of your people in Syria, in Syria regardless of your position and vote, whether it uh, is a yes or no, is still a political smokescreen, I believe. Wholeheartedly, you do not care about the will and well-being of, the America, of, of America or its people. You lie to the American people about the chemical attacks in Syria, the American people know that it was our government that is most likely responsible. There is strong evidence, including video, that these attacks were carried out by Al-Qaeda. And you advocate starting a war, even maybe world war, by taking the same attack and blaming it on Assad. President Barack Hussein Obama has been supporting terrorism. The United States has been funding and aiding organizations, including the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda, for many years now. The king has the no clothes. we were supposed to be defeating on the battlefield. At least one country in this world stood up against this government terrorism that you guys support in Egypt. The people of Egypt throughout Mohammed Morsi, which Obama supported as well, as countless Christians have lost their lives under evil people such as this. You swore an oath to protect us and protect protect from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. The simple irony is the domestic enemy now in this country is the people and government of the United States. And McCain and you and the rest of our leaders are accountable for their actions. It's too bad someone like me is not in office to hold you accountable, because if I was in a position of power or authority, I would have you all arrested and tried for treason against my country under the grounds of 18 U.S.C. 2381 treason U.S. Code. Whoever owing allegiance to the United States levies war against them or adheres to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort within the United States or elsewhere, is guilty of treason. That is the code. And the McCain American is laughing. Of it. This country rose up against you recently. It's a ratio. Hang on, I have a right of free speech. I can finish. The American people opposed the going to war with Syria, which includes many Marines and other veterans by the thousands. All right, that's good. 499 to 1. All right, most of the people are supporting him and clapping, but a few were, were booing and, and trying to get his speech shut down. But McCain, everywhere he went, got responses like that. And that's the way you respond to these traitors. John